and welcome to the Sports Fix across the regional South Australia on this Thursday. For today's program, we're going to go along the river and look at some results from last week. Then I'm going to have a look at uh, some of the picks for the weekend, the matches that you might be looking forward to getting along to. Let's go firstly, though, to last week's Riverland Independent Games. There was a forfeit from Brownswell to Sedan Cambrai. Bit of a long road trip there for the Bomber Boys, uh, so they couldn't get the numbers together. And so the Magpies get the points uh, without to going out to play. A bit disappointing though for the folk at Cambrai who'd uh, ready to put on a good show. Cobb Dogler got their first win in, uh, well, over a thousand days. 11-11-77 over Wanka, 8-9-57. The Bulldogs would be very disappointed with that loss. They would have went into that match um, as favourites. But Cobby, the Eagles, are they back? Well, we reckon they might be. Ramco way too good for Blanchetown. Swan Reach, 18-18-126 to 3 9 as we head down the river a bit further and we get to River Murray in round eight action, Imperial's way too good for My Palonga, 20 goals, 10, 130, My Palonga, 6, 8, 44. It was a big win for Manham over Ramblers, not so much in the scoreline, but just to get that win, it puts them into a really big chance of uh, keeping Ramblers out of the finals race, which they would have been looking to do, 10, 16 to 9, 8. Tail and Ben took on Meningi and kicked 27, 23. 185 to 10969 and for Tail and Bend here, it was interesting to see that one of their star players um, that is Smelt, and he booted when these two sides met in the early season round. He actually booted on that occasion 14 goals. This time, when they kicked 27 goals instead of 28 that they kicked in the first time against Meningi, he kicked just the one goal. Interesting how games change through the season. Let's take a look now at some of the matches for the weekend. And if you're in the Mallee, I reckon that, uh, like me, you'll be heading out and having having a look at a match this weekend. I'm looking forward to Pinaroo taking on Karunda. We'll be covering that on MFL TV. But um, the other matches, I think BDT taking on Peak. Peak need to get a win from somewhere. At Tintinara, it's going to be tough for them this weekend. Lamaru get Murrayville in the competition, the other game at Lamaru's home deck. What about uh, these matches in the K&T? There's two absolute belters this weekend. Mandala take on Bordertown. The old Tatiara rivals here, but Watertown have improved this year and they'll certainly take it right up to the moots at the Swamp at Mandala. Kingston get Keith though in a top of the table clash at Kingston. How much have Kingston improved this year? Well plenty but Keith are going to have something to say about that. This is going to be a huge game of football. Warner for Kingston Simmons for Keith. It's going to go down to the wire. Pat the way play Narricourt in another rivals game of K&T. A good weekend of matches. What about up in the Barossa Light and Gawler? Angus and get Gawler Central and Gawler Central need to win against one of these top sides to keep their chances alive of finals football and defend their crown from 2020. The other match Tanunda and Williston at Williston a big opportunity for the Williston Donny Brooks to get a win at home and Jars is going to have to do it against one of the top sides. Of course you've got Westoff's Tanunda as the opposition. As we go to Northeastern football and this is a big clash. RSMU Hawks take on the BSR Tigers and that's a big game of football. It's a top-of-the-table type clash. The BSR Tigers, they're going to travel down to Riverton. It's a road trip for them, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Hawks will be waiting for them in that navy blue Guernsey and might just beat those Tigers. Another great clash this weekend is the Southern Saints and Min Man, two rivals from just over the hill. It's at Robertstown out on the plains, and look out, Min Man, the Saints could be coming for you. This is going to be another great match this weekend. Over on the Air Peninsula, and I went to the Western Air and this is going to be a terrific clash between the Blues and Kniba and both of them are looking at this round six clash and uh, hoping for a win to keep themselves uh, up in that top four and I guess in calculation terms the other two sides in one and two the West Coast Hawks and Western United we're expecting that they both play away but should probably get convincing wins in their games albeit Wirrilla might have something to say about the big road trip that Penong will be making from uh, up uh, there down to the Wirrilla Oval for the Bombers 
performers to take them on. It is a good round of round six matches in Western Air. It is a good sports fix for you today. Don't forget these results um, and also our previews on the Friday night sports show. But also we've got a video of these going up each day. So you can go to Flow Sports on Facebook. Also go to Flow News 24 on YouTube and uh, you can see our results and previews up there for you. And this has been Wayne Phillips with your sports fix. Thank you.